Yeah, so today it's a scheduled day off for everyone, but uh, as injured lads, you, you still have to try and get your rehab in, really, especially at the stage that I'm at at the minute. I'm, I'm four weeks post op. So today I'm just mixing it up a little bit. I'm going to go to David Lloyd, um, the, the, the sponsor of the club, they're great, they let us use their facilities. They've got fantastic facilities. So I'm just going up there today to, to mix things up and, and do my rehab there and uh, maybe even get in the pool and do a bit of recovery because, uh, you know, we've had a, quite a heavy week on, on the legs. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So what is your injury and how did it happen? I'm out at the minute with uh, a shoulder injury. I had a, a shoulder reconstruction uh, about four weeks ago. Frustrating one really, but um, you know they're quite common in, in rugby. Although they sound bad, a shoulder reconstruction, you know most most lads have had them. Um, they, they're pretty straightforward. When, once you get out of surgery, you just carry on doing your rehab and they, they progress quite quickly. Um, I just can't wait to get back out there with lads now and rehab's picking up quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to getting involved in that and hopefully in the next couple of weeks doing some weights. Uh, it's no secret that I've had my problems over the last year or so with injuries. Um, you know, all, all I want to do is play rugby and play my rugby for witness, especially this year. And to get another injury was really disappointing. But you know, I'm a front rower, and it's part and parcel of the game. It happens. You have to put your body on the line, and injuries happen. So I'm just going to get my head down, keep focused, and work really hard, and come back hopefully end of April, beginning of May time, and, and try and give the boys a big boost. If you needed to sum up some of the things that goes into the recovery of an injured player, what would you say it's like? Uh, a lot of hard work, um, sometimes it's, it's boring, you know, you'll go maybe a stage of a month where you're just doing the same things and you feel like you're banging your head against a brick wall, uh, you know, your, your rehab doesn't feel like it's quite getting there but all of a sudden it will really pick up and you'll progress. Uh, on the other side as well, when you're at home just with your family, there's a lot of things that you can't do which other people might take for granted. You know, I was in a sling for four weeks, um, I couldn't pick my son up, couldn't bath him, Loves going out on his bike. I normally take him out every day on his bike with my wife and I couldn't do that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not good, but obviously, like I said before, it's part and parcel of the sport and one of the things you sign up for, I suppose, when you put your boots on. Um, but I'll get to do that again sooner and I can't wait. I'm just focusing now on, on getting back and, and staying fit. And has it been hard to see the Super League start, the season start, but you not be part of it? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, um, obviously I was, I was feeling really good in pre-season and obviously just picked up that injury so I was fully focused on playing round one, not only round one but in, in the friendlies as well. I was never going to play in the Christmas game but uh, you know I was hoping to play in the Halifax game and then picked up the injury a couple of weeks before that so it has been tough but the professionals it's what, what we have to do, we go through this, I'll not be the only one that gets injured this year, you know you've just got to keep your head down, stay focused and look at the big picture, I'll be back hopefully in April, beginning of May time and there's a lot of rugby to be played. Do you think people understand kind of the, the hard work that goes into a, a player coming back from injury and what rugby players put their bodies through? Uh, I, I hope so, some some probably don't, you, you cop a bit of stick but you know they're, they're obviously really disappointed that you, you're not playing and all they see is that you know, you're in the program on the team list but you're, never, you're not playing so they get frustrated and I can understand that but for how frustrated they are, the players are probably 10 times more frustrated and the families are probably 10 times more frustrated than that because they have to put up with us at home, not be doing so much and, and being miserable and being out all hours on our days off now. You know, your family, you'd normally be out doing stuff, but you, you still have to pick up your rehab and do things. So, um, you know, you know that, that's what we get paid for. We have to do it, but it is difficult and hopefully over the next couple of months people will see the type of things that injured lads go through and the hard work that it takes to get back on the field and hopefully they'll appreciate it. The final question is, how much will it mean for you to get back out on the field in a few months time? Yeah, to be honest with you, I think about it every night. I can't I can't wait to be honest with you. I look at the, the, um, the schedule on the board and the calendar and what games are coming up around that time and I just can't wait but on the other side, I've got to be smart about it and realise that I can't rush this. I've got to, got to take my time with it and make sure that when I get back, I'm fully fit. So I'm not letting anyone down and I'm staying out there on the field and hopefully, like I said before, giving the boys a boost. Getting me good side here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing now then? Oh, I'm just doing some cuff work here, just trying to fill up the area where I've, what I've had repaired. So I've got it on the lightest weight possible here and I'm struggling. So. Uh, Bit embarrassed getting a few funny looks in gym, but uh, yeah, I think we'll be all right. Is it painful now, mate? Oh. Oh, it's just more weak. I'm going to get into that anyway, it's, just, it's a bit sore, but not too bad.
more frustrating than anything because I know it's such a lightweight, my lad would be able to do this, but uh, like last week I was doing I was just doing band work, which is a lot lighter than this, so like I said before, you know, you do progress pretty quickly, but it just gets a bit frustrating sometimes when you're doing the lightest weight in the gym and all the big boys are over here looking at you. Obviously you're only a few weeks back, aren't you? Yeah, four weeks yesterday. Four weeks yesterday, so I think hopefully in another week or so we'll be able to pick up a little bit. And you know, I just started doing some weighted work yesterday, like I said, very light, but it's still a progression. I think it's still nice just to be moving things on and yeah, you don't get, you don't get too bored then. So. so pretty much straight away from surgery, the, the surgeon hands you over to your physios and they're in control of you, so that's uh, Tolly and Woody. Well, there's uh, Sam as well that does a fair bit of my rehab with me. So they're with the injured boys most days, go through their rehab with them. Just make sure that they're, they're doing it properly and stuff. You know, it's quite easy to just get distracted and maybe not do it right. And you've know, got to make sure that, especially with my shoulder, that's in the right position. So you're doing the right work. You won't be wasting your time, really. So yeah, they're, they're into you quite a bit. Probably at the stage now where they trust me to go, to go and do it on my own. That's why I've come here today. Uh, you know, you still got to make sure that you're doing your rehab probably six days a week. They, they can't hold your hand the whole time, so... You know, at first, they probably watch me every session, but now they, they trust me a little bit to go into the gym and make sure that I'm doing it right. And do you mix the rehab around your ordinary training? Uh, no, well, how, how our day normally starts is... Uh, I'm training with Christine at the minute, which is good. He's a good pro, fit lad, and keeping me on my toes. So we'll get in every morning, and uh, Tim Holmes, Sherlock's, a lot of our, our, our conditioning type work with us, so we're on the watt bikes. Uh, we might get to see that later on in a few weeks. Uh, they're not nice, not nice at all. If you, if you ever get a chance to go on one, don't because they're, uh, they're pretty painful. So we, we go on to that, probably do about half an hour's work on that, which doesn't sound a lot, but we can't speak after it. Uh, we need a good rest after that, probably just have a stretch and stuff, and then after we've recovered, we'll probably go and do our rehab just to prolong that rest period. And then we're going to do our rehab, this type of stuff. So we'll do this every day. Uh, I hope maybe even twice a day as well. So, uh, like I said, we're, we're at the beginning stage of a rehab, so uh, we don't do too much too soon. But the next couple of weeks, it's really going to pick up. Hopefully, start running, doing more weights. So that means that'll be in a lot, a lot longer and a lot more often doing different types of things. So hopefully, you'll get to see that as well. This is just a uh, low intensity exercise that I can do just to try and keep a little bit of the mass on. Like, I only started doing this well, two or three days ago, so it's nice to, to get some weights involved in the session now. But uh, I think I mentioned it before, you know, it's going to really pick up in the next couple of weeks and hopefully start doing a lot more upper body weights and not just leg weights. Might make life a bit easier being able to get down the stairs in the morning. So no, I'm looking forward to that, I really can't wait. When you're injured, you're in before the team and you leave after them as well. Uh, a lot of training is on your own, doing your own rehab. Not very often you get the, the couple of injured players who've got the same injury. So, um, you know, I'll go off and, and do my shoulder rehab. Joey Mellon might go and do his knee rehab. Although you're in the same gym with each other, you're pretty much on your own. Uh, a lot of one-on-one -on -work, one -on -one work with the, the physios. Um, a lot of the whole time with them. So obviously lads are itching to get back out there and just be amongst it with the lads. Although you're still training around them, you don't really feel part of it. But that's part and parcel of it. And um, you know, I'm just really looking forward to getting my head down and working hard and hopefully being back around April time, maybe beginning of May. And hopefully I can give the boys a huge boost. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ticking off the days every day. I do an extra day every other thing. I'm that one step closer. So I just can't wait to get back out there. This video is brought to you by Nutrition X. Use the code WOODNESS20 to try out their fantastic products.